What's up guys, my name is Brandon and today Apple released the RC or release candidate build of iOS 15 to both registered developers and to public beta testers shortly after their California streaming event. And shout out to everybody who joined me in that four hour live stream earlier today. It was a ton of fun as usual. But in addition to this iOS 15 RC release, we also got iPadOS 15 RC, watchOS 8 RC, tvOS 15 RC, and also the RC build of HomePod OS. And of course, like usual, expect macOS Monterey betas and the RC to follow at a later date since they are running behind. Apple is running behind with macOS. But of course, in this video, we're talking all about iOS and iPadOS and what's new in this RC build, along with the official release date for iOS 15, and more. So taking a look at the size of this update, you can see here it came in at 5.31 gigabytes coming from beta 8 here on my 12 Pro Max. So the size, of course, anytime you go from a beta to a final release or vice versa, the update size will be very large in the gigabytes. So we got over five gigabytes here on the 12 Pro Max. And of course, we have the release notes right here that tells you a lot of the new features included in iOS 15. So if we go ahead and check out the build number for this update here, we go to settings, general about 15. You can see here the build number is 19A344. And if we go down to the modem firmware, you will notice that this is still unchanged. So we have not had a modem update in quite a while. And even now for the RC and what is presumably going to be the final iOS 15 release that's released to the public, you're going to have the same modem firmware right there. Now, if you want to stop receiving beta updates and you want to just move on and get all of the public updates instead, all you have to do is just delete your beta profile. So if you go to your settings and then go to general and then down to VPN and device management, and then you should see under configuration profile, your iOS 15 beta software profile, just simply tap on remove, enter in your passcode, and then you will remove the beta profile and then you will only get final you know, public releases and not betas. And if you wanted to get back on the beta program and test out a future you know, beta version of iOS 15, all you have to do is just simply reinstall the beta profile, no problem. All right, so now what's new here in the RC build of iOS 15? And nothing has changed here from beta eight that I've noticed aside from a simple splash screen. So this is a new splash screen I noticed when I first opened up the App Store. You can see here it shows App Store widget get daily stories from our editors right on your home screen, and then also Safari extensions on iOS. And it says find helpful browser extensions in the new Safari extensions category. So not new features, but just a new splash screen here showing you some of the new things in the app store. But I did not get a new splash screen for any other default application here on the RC build. And I know a lot of people have asked me about wallpapers as well. And if you go into wallpapers right here and choose new wallpaper, you can see we do not have any new wallpapers here in the RC build for live stills or dynamics. So nothing new here. And we only have one new wallpaper for iOS 15. So I would expect to see new wallpapers for iOS 15 on a point update, like a 0 0.1, 15.1 or 15.2 potentially even 15.3. So I would not expect to see new wallpapers until one of those point updates and the same with emojis. So I know a lot of people were wondering about the new emojis. Those usually come in a 0.1 or 0.2 update as well. So you can expect to see those, both of those wallpapers and emojis in a later release. And as far as the digital driver's license, I know a lot of people have been wondering about this and it's still only available in these states or it will be available in these states first. It's not available currently, but we have not seen anything else about this since September 1st when this press release went out and I did make a video on it here, but you know, I'm looking forward to this, but even these states listed right here, I'm not going to see this in iOS 15 right away. It's going to be rolling out pretty slowly because I'm sure there are a lot of laws behind this and things like that. So even when it does roll out, it will be US only. So it will roll out to other countries at a later date, but I'll let you guys know when I have more information about the digital driver's license. And of course, I'm not gonna show you guys all of the new features in iOS 15 because number one, I already showed you pretty much all of them in the beta you know, update videos throughout the past couple of months. And then also I'm gonna be releasing a video next week showing every new feature in iOS 15. It's going to be very long, so I don't want to make repetitive content, just show you guys in this video the new features as well. So just expect that video next week, it's going to be a good one. And if we go to Apple's documentation right here to look at the release notes, you can see we have the iOS and iPadOS 15 release notes right here. So Apple removed all of the beta release notes and just has this right here for the RC bill. Now I didn't notice anything 
too different here. I mean, we do have a lot of known issues and new features, but none of these are really like brand new features that I haven't talked about previously. So it's just talking about share play being removed. A lot of these known issues and, you know, iCloud private relay will be released as a public beta, things like that, things we've already seen in previous beta. So really nothing to see in the release notes here for iOS 15 RC either. Now, as far as bugs go, we do still have some bugs here on the RC build of iOS 15. So I've seen multiple people still having issues with their iPhone storage. So the storage is just off for some people. So sometimes it shows an inaccurate number right there. For some people, it just shows zero kilobytes used, even though they've let it sit in index for hours, it still just does not populate right there. So still people are having issues with storage. I feel like they've had that since beta one, but even still in the RC here, people are still facing that issue. I've not faced it myself, but I have seen several people in the comment section here on Twitter, pretty much everywhere talking about this storage issue. And as far as handoff to HomePod and also AirPlay to HomePod, that is still very buggy here in iOS 15. So sometimes when I go to AirPlay, some music to a HomePod, one of my HomePod minis, the phone will just completely freeze up. And my only way to you know fix it is to lock my screen and then unlock it and then all of a sudden it's fixed because i can't go to the home screen it's just completely frozen when i try to do that so really frustrating i've had issues with handoff to home pod and airplay to home pod for a long time now and they are still not fixed here in ios 15 the rc build and then also the notification center is still very bugged out so i don't have the issues right now of course but sometimes you will see a big gap in the notification center and sometimes your notifications will overlap as well i showed you guys that in previous versions and it's still happening here in the rc build but aside from those bugs the performance here on the rc build of ios 15 is pretty solid but you know then again it's not going to be a major difference if you are on beta 8 already so going from beta 8 to the rc is not really going to be that big of a difference in terms of the performance and if you take a look at the geekbench scores right here you can see i scored let's see the september 14th right here so i scored a 1598 on the single core and a 4200 on the multi-core and you can see how that compares to beta 8 right here so a little bit higher on the multi-core and a little bit lower on the single core because i got a 1605 there in beta 8 1598 here on the rc but really nothing too major in terms of the difference in scores for Geekbench, but it feels about the same as beta eight for me as expected. And then as far as battery life goes, battery life on beta eight was also great. So I would expect things to remain the same here with the RC build, because I don't think Apple is going to touch the battery life until the future point updates when they start sorting out other important issues. So I would expect battery to stay the same until maybe like 15.2, 15.3, something around there. All right, so now what is next for Apple? And iOS 15 is going to be released to the public on Monday, September 20th. And this was confirmed by Apple today on their website. You can see right here, it just shows 920. So we can expect to see the final public release of iOS 15 to come on Monday. So a little unusual. Usually it's on like a Tuesday or Wednesday, but it looks like it's coming on the 20th. And then after that gets released, I would not be surprised to see an iOS 15.1 beta one come shortly after that, possibly even in the same week before the new iPhones get released. But you know, if it's not that same week, it could be the very next week. I just think we're going to see a 15.1 beta start up very soon but again if you do not want to continue beta testing all you have to do is go into your settings go to general vpn and device management and just remove the beta profile right here and you will not get those beta updates but anyways guys there you have it that is the rc build of ios 15 really not too much to talk about but i did just want to make a video telling you guys that it is out and i did also test it on multiple other phones and my ipad pro as well and it's the same story really nothing much to talk about i just wanted to make a video notifying you guys that it was out and expect my big what's new video to come next week showing all of the new ios 15 features but if you guys enjoyed this video i would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and of course make sure to subscribe for a lot of ios 15 coverage and iphone 13 coverage coming very very soon but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon